Hi all, welcome to new part of uh, multi-threading. Today's topic is thread memory management. Okay, so let's start with today's topic. Okay, so how JVM starts Java application? Okay, so first we should understand this. Okay, uh, JVM, what it does? So JVM first create main thread, okay? And as soon as uh, it creates a main thread, uh, JVM creates a stack for the main thread, something like this. So uh, uh, this is the stack where JVM will push the data and pop data out from this stack, okay? So what is this stack? Stack is one of the part of JVM memory which is used to manage thread related data, okay? So we know that uh, this is a stack data structure which is used by, uh, the same concept, uh, concept is used here as well, okay? So this uh, stack is one of the part of J uh, JVM memory. Basically JVM has five different types of memory, okay? So one of that uh, part is, uh, stack memory okay so which jvm use to store the thread related informations into that memory okay so basically this is the uh, thread uh, this is the main thread stack which is created by jvm as soon as jvm uh, main thread will start okay so what that's what i was trying to understand in the first two line like first jvm creates a main thread as soon as the main thread gets created it creates a stack for the main thread okay and as soon as main thread start main thread starts it looks for main method in public class okay so as soon as a uh, main thread is started it it will be looking for that main method where is that main method we know already right we have a public class like primitive test and we always write public static void main where our java application start executing so that main thread starts looking for this main method okay and once this main thread identify the main method java application starts executing so that's how our java application starts executes okay so that's what i was trying to explain here okay so what will happen next so as soon as main thread start executing main method jvm pushes main method frame into main thread thread stack okay so we learned earlier right like as soon as jvm creates a main thread it creates a stack for that main thread okay now what this thread will do this thread will main thread this means main here okay so when main thread start executing or it uh, finds the main method it starts executing that main method right so as soon as main thread starts executing main method jvm pushes the main method into the stack okay so jvm will push the stack the frame of main method okay this frame will have some information related to this main method like main method variables all that data related to main method will be pushed inside this uh, stack and th that uh, space is called frame okay so there will be one frame uh, of main method okay pushed into that stack okay so uh, what will happen next one main method calls another method okay like here we can able to see main method is calling do call method okay so jvm will push again one more frame into the uh, stack uh, into the a uh, stack of main thread and that frame will be of do call method okay so jvm will put do call method frame into that is stack again okay so here we can able to see do call is again calling do some method so jvm will push frame of do some method again into this stack so this how basically jvm manages the stack of 
uh, any thread okay so that's what we were trying to understand now what will happen once this do some method is completed the control will go back to the do call method and hence the jvm will remove that do some frame from the stack so it will pop out the do some uh, frame from the stack memory okay and same with do call method as well as soon as the control will go to main method and do call will get completed the do call frame will get popped out from the stack memory okay and same thing happens with the main as well as soon as the main method gets completed main method will get popped out from the main thread stack okay so as soon as main thread uh, main method will get pop out from the stack of main method the main uh, stack of main thread will become empty hence thread will not have any job to execute it or to process it and the stack will become empty so as soon as the stack becomes empty jvm deletes that stack okay it's to uh, it's destroys or jvm destroys that stack before destroying the main method okay so this was the crux which i was uh, trying to explain okay now what will happen if we have more than one thread in a single application assuming this scenario okay we have primitive test we have main method okay inside that main method again i have two threads okay so jvm will create individual stack for each thread so as soon as we have main thread jvm will create a stack for main thread as soon as we'll create thread one so okay sorry uh, uh, as soon as we create thread one so we will have a stack for thread one as soon as we will create thread two we will have a stack of thread two so jvm will maintain each stack for single thread so every time a thread gets create jvm will create separate stack memory for it to handle all thread related data into the stack memory so this was the end of uh, our today's session so hope guys i i think so you would have got what is the uh, thread and uh, thread uh, uh, memory management by jvm how thread uh, uh, how uh, jvm manages thread memory thank you guys thanks for watching this video